Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how I make cinnamon rolls from the dough that I used to make my challah bread. Um, if you'd like to see how to make the dough, I will put a link in the description down below. So the first step is you're going to take the dough out of the bowl here. I'm going to flour my surface. Make sure it's all washed and everything first. So I'm just going to sprinkle some flour out. some flour on my rolling pin here. All right. Okay, so I'm going to put this on here and start to roll this out. Um, you're going to roll it into a rectangle. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then come back and show you what it looks like when I'm finished. Okay, so this is what it looks like after I have it all rolled out into a rectangle. It's not perfect, but it's close enough. And then I've melted one stick of unsalted butter, and I'm just going to brush this on the dough here. Just get this all on. Alright, so I'm going to finish putting this on and then I'll come back and show you when it's finished. Okay, so I have all my butter on here and now in this bowl I have measured out one cup of brown sugar and I'm going to add one tablespoon of ground cinnamon to it and just kind of mix it in. I'm just going to kind of mix this all together and then this is going to go on top of the buttered dough. Alright, so that's good. And then you just sprinkle this all on here. And this does look like a lot of sugar, but they're cinnamon rolls. They have to be sweet and yummy. Okay, so this is what it looks like after you have all your brown sugar and cinnamon mixture. And then I'm going to start to roll it up you, um, towards me, just like you would roll like a jelly roll. Okay, so now that we have it all rolled up here, then I'm just going to cut them probably like about every two inches. Okay, and then um, I'm going to get a pan here, and I saved one of my papers that had butter on it to use to butter my dish. Right. And then I'm just going to set my cinnamon rolls in here. And then cover it and they will rise for about 30 minutes. Kind of pinch them together.
I'll probably end up moving them maybe to a smaller pan actually. Alright, so I'll cover these and let them rise and then show you what they look like. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes and these have definitely expanded. So they are now ready to go into the oven and be baked. I've preheated my oven to 350 and I'll bake them for 20 minutes and show you what they look like when they're okay, finished. So they've baked for 20 minutes and this is what they look like. And now I'm going to ice them with my cream cheese icing that I've made and if you'd like to see how I make this I can um, put a link for that in the description as well. So you just put plenty of this on here. So that's probably enough icing. Alright, so that's our cinnamon rolls. Enjoy!